Hey there, it took six hours to debate just one measure alone, Kelly, reducing the magazine size of assault weapons to just 15 rounds. This was in the state that stuck between historic horrific shootings and also the Old West heritage where gun ownership is really part of daily life for many in Colorado. If you want to buy a gun, you have to get a background check. And then if you want to have a high capacity magazine, we're going to limit that to 15. And it would be grandfathered in. So if those folks who have those uh, types of ammunition, they can keep them. They just won't be sold. Once the bill is passed, they will not be able to purchase them or transfer them in the state. These are the other measures that were advanced. Shotgun sales could no longer hold more than 28 inches of shells. Universal background checks to include gun purchases between private parties and sales conducted online. And lastly, there's a gun ban for people accused of domestic violence that got an initial approval there too. It looks like most of these will get the nod from Governor John Hickenlooper come Monday, but all the same Democrats pulled back on two controversial measures because of lack of support from within their own ranks. A gun ban on college campuses, that is, and holding assault weapon owners liable for damages caused by their weapons just couldn't get through. What in the end was a 12-hour slog at advancing legislation that could set the precedent for laws across the country, Kelly?